Hello everyone, uh, welcome to the beginning, well not the beginning, oh my god I'm stupid. <laughs> welcome to winner's round 2 of the Cuphead DLC tournament. We had the number 9 seed Porco Bravo versus the number 1 seed exclamation mark YT. I'm joined here on commentary by Yokai Fan. Hello, hello, hello. Hold on, let me, let me turn this up, let me turn up desktop audio slightly. There we go, that's what we're talking about. So, uh, this match is going to be interesting because, um... This is, there are only two contestants that are using Lava Spread in this tournament, that being Mark and, and me, Gamer. Uh, everyone else is using Charge Fest, so this is the first time we'll see the use of Lava Spread in this tournament. Yeah, it's going to be really interesting. Because it does, it, I feel like Charge Spread, whilst it's more consistent, Lava Spread can definitely open up to some really, really cool strats, like especially Sultimate. If Mark hits the Sultimate during this tournament, it's going to be so hype. Yeah, uh, Lava Spread allows for some very cool, um, like, strategies to open up as well as a lot of time save if you execute the strategies correctly. So, I will now be asking both runners to get onto the player selection screen here, and then, oh, Yokai's very quiet, I'll, I'll turn that up. Okay, I turned desktop audio up a lot, so you should be able to hear Yokai now. Wait, hello, let's testing, testing. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Your your mic sounds kind of robotic. What well, mine? Uh, it's a not a great mic. It's the Razer Siren Mini. It's not too bad, but eh. Oh, it only seems it only seems robotic when I have desktop audio on. Hmm. Oh well. Yeah, I'll now be asking uh, both members to uh, get to the tile select screen, and then we're going to start this. <sighs> Currently, like, 11 at night for me, so... <laughs> it's probably going to be midnight by the time this tournament ends. Okay, I, I like... Like, I didn't lower it that much, but I lowered desktop audio a little bit, and, uh, and now it doesn't sound as robotic, I don't think, so it should be good. Uh, Polka's going in for a practice run, I guess. Oh, okay, he, oh, he, no, no. he saw now. He probably just didn't see it first. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, Okay. This man doesn't get on the tile screen in the next three seconds. <laughs> <laughs> it worked. That worked. <laughs> Alright, uh. Alright, we're just gonna make sure he gets on here and then we're gonna start the countdown. Alright, All right. so we will be counting down. The match will start in five, four, Three, two, one, go. All right. Uh, uh, yeah, we just got to wait for the Twitch delay, and yep. there we go. And, we're off. And we're off. All right, so um, the first part of this, uh, despite them using different routes, the first like two levels will be co completely the same for both runners. So not really much to touch up on here. Uh, no, yeah, Porco will have to go for the, uh, shop beforehand, and after the fact, so Mark is immediately going to get some speed off of that. Yeah, we'll touch more on that when we get there. Uh, yeah. But yeah, Mark had to Follies, so they're pretty solid, uh, I think it was like a 23.26 or something. Oh, Mark getting stuck oh, on the stump. Oh, missing the... One of, his most yeah. famous clip on Twitch is him getting stuck on that stump, I think it was 17 times, so... Oh my god. That is, he is the type of guy to get stuck on that stump. Uh. So, Mark uh, will yeah. probably reset after doing that. <laughs> he, he, he did reset. But anyway, that's besides the point. What isn't besides the point is if he hits Ninja Clip. A little bit scuffed, but he hits it. Very nice. And damage boosting there, grabbing the last coin, and very, very clean. Yeah. Definitely a solid fall, as you the circumstances. Uh, what happened there is there's a strategy, I think, it's called, like, 
I can't tell if it's, it's, I don't know if it's on Hill's dash or on Hill's clip, uh, either work. Poor driving is scary, end of fall, he's there, but he's getting it done. Um, where you, like, hold left after dashing, and then, like, you get boosted to the left, even if you're going to the right. But, uh, Mark pressed left too early, and thus, uh, dashed left instead of dashing right. Okay, Mark missing shops get the first time, but getting it the second time. All right, and now Mark is going to be going on to um, the mausoleum. Yep. Going to be seeing. We're going to be seeing all of Casper's brothers. Okay, so Porco, um, only buying spread. Mark buying spread and lobber, which are the two weapons he'll use for the rest of the game, or the rest of the DLC, I guess you could say. Uh, mausoleum one, the hardest level in the game. Just Ken is uh just a straightforward level. You just parry ghosts. Pretty simple, really. Uh, <laughs> Borco Cycling Follies is funny. Uh, we will see here. Hopefully, they won't make any mistakes in Mausoleum because that would be very embarrassing. You do not want to do that under any circumstances. Yeah, that would be extremely embarrassing. I think Mark's on last ghost. All right. <sighs> Okay, normally my intuition. I am, uh... I'm very ashamed. I'm very ashamed of what I just saw in the chat. I am so ashamed about it that I'm not even gonna address it. What's that? Polaray said gamer attack is the hardest part in the game. I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> done. Oh, no. Mark's stream froze. Oh, wait, no. His cup had didn't free... His cup had crashed? Oh, what happened? Wait, oh, his cup had crashed. No, his cup had crashed. Okay, oh, so no. so what do we call this? Do we call this? Do we redo or do we? Uh... I I say I say we redo that. I mean, all right, Mark's just getting back into it. Wait, huh? Where's this? Where's the DLC boat? Oh, oh okay. there we go. Okay, well he got back into the game. I don't know. If that's really a, like if you're allowed to do that, but. Well, it's I mean, no, he, sh he shouldn't be allowed because he kind of skipped part of the mausoleum cutscene. Uh, I mean, the, I mean, realistically, he lost time there. Yeah, realistically, he did lose some time. So it's like, yeah, I had to like reopen the game and stuff, so whatever. See Mark going into Glumstone, slightly ahead of Porco because he doesn't have to go to the second shop. Getting geese there, unfortunate cycle. Yeah, uh, I mean, next time we'll probably just, like, next time that happens, we'll probably just, like, redo the race. It's just, we, I didn't really know what to do, because that doesn't really happen. Yeah, I think we'll let it slide for this one, because it hasn't happened before. Yeah. I've never seen, like, Cuphead crash before. Uh, a oh, a little bit of a... This is really scary. Yeah, unfortunate Glumstone for Mark. Unfortunately, I missed it, because I was so, like, distraught at Porco's game crashing, but, uh... He, um... Oh my... You mean Mark's? Yeah, Mark's game crashing. My bad. D did I say Porco's? Uh, whatever. Yeah, it's did. Uh, Porco uh, went oh, to the child cool. tutorial, and then went to the shop to buy charge spread, whereas Mark just, just went past it. Yeah. Yeah, 52 Glomstone 52 for Mark. second Glomstone's great, though. That is very solid, considering the circumstances. Mm-hmm. See Porco is Porco. I'm I'm assuming Porco is going to be doing a uh, dash roll here as well. I mean, yeah, like realistically, I think Mark did actually like lose time. So like it's yeah, he lost like twenty seconds. Not like not twenty, but like he lost like ten seconds. So he's still like. It basically, oh. what I'm saying is that I didn't oh, really like. Oh my god! I had Porco in a positive way. I mean, por Porco in a negative way. Porco just had the clutch of the century. That oh was, no, that's, that's really bad for Mark. Yeah, Porco there, uh, he, I mean, he he basically fell and probably only had, didn't have, like, too many iframes left. He still had, like, a good amount, but not that many. That's, that's, that's the play of the tournament so far, that is. <laughs> it's always scary when you're in situations like that. Unfortunately, this is gonna be a pretty slow murmur for Mark, because, as a result of, what's, what's his face? Him getting a pretty bad whale. Yeah, the whale was unfortunate, though. Normally you want to get well, especially if you're using oh, lava nice. spread, but uh, his he didn't get like a jump, he didn't get like a little up boost after damage boosting, so he missed his spread X. 
which is definitely a very unfortunate situation to be in. Still a 46 Orko, Mortimer. Orko getting in the double damage spread EX there. Opting to damage tank for two spread EXs. Yeah, really it's... Really risky. Yeah, it's damage pretty risky. Again. Dang. We're just, we're just doing all the risky strats today, I guess. Yep. Making use of lingering hip Hazel, walks. Hazel... Bro, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make Ban whole right for free if you keep saying this stuff. Anyway, uh... On to Howling. Howling is one of the worst fights for Lava Spread, so hope oh, it Orko's. can lead to some very drastic... Oh, God. Not the friggin' stream crash. Okay, it's back. Uh, Orko, really risky. There we go. Nice. Yeah. Clean recovery. <laughs> there will be some technical difficulties. It's kind of, like, unavoidable in some spots. Mark getting there... a really clean yeah. one cycle there. Ang Ang to solid second phase. There's, um... Unfortunate miss of the Lava Spread. Yeah. Before. There's some different, like, ways to do second phase. Like, some... Like, most people do, like, spread, but some people do, like, lobber mainly for the second phase. I do mainly lobber just because I find it more consistent, but it, it works either way, yeah. so it doesn't matter. Uh, nice one cycle there as well. Yeah. Very clean. So, Mark having, despite uh that blunder, has, has a very massive lead. Which is nice. You 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 always want to have a big lead in this game. Yeah, I do think it's kind of because of the shop and yeah, because like if if Mark was also running charge spread, game like if we still counted the like the game crash. Oh. <laughs> Gamer attack can't do Mark's... ninja club. I'm sorry, Hall Right, but who has a ten four X again? Just kidding. Uh, Mark's um, I I thought Mark I saw Mark turn on his webcam there. I think. <laughs> Karate is game. Nice. Uh, anyway, uh. Borko's gonna get the clean one phase here. One cycle, even. Ah, very nice. Yeah, uh. Mark going on to Esther here. He's using the two nuke strategy, which, as is pretty obvious, you beat the fight with only two nukes. Shocking, right? Uh. You'll get a little bit of a longer pattern, which in the grand scheme of things doesn't affect anything because you still do damage like in this pattern. Good use of hitboxes that way you can still get the parries, but also dodge taking any damage. My god. Damage boosting. And I think on like, yeah. I think this is a Really, really comfortable clear. Yeah. Yes, very nice. Very solid Esther for Mark. Uh, I haven't been paying a pe attention to Porco this whole time. Uh, it's kind of my fault. Uh, I've been I've been keeping an eye on Porco. Yeah, I kind of just like, like I kind of like just tend to look at one screen. Like I have pro I like yeah. when I try commenting, I kind of struggle to look at multiple screens at once. But yeah, yeah. Uh, you see Porco cleanly through the first phase, which is in my opinion the hardest phase. Yeah. Yeah, the first phase can definitely mess with some stuff and be annoying. I oh jeez. Oh Christ! I, yeah, good good save there. Yeah, good save. That was kind of unfortunate. I think did Por did Porco do a nuke in second phase? Uh, yes, he did. Yeah. Okay, so he's probably doing three nuke. Okay, Mark shooting the ex to speed up that phase a little bit. Oh, it's not Quinn's league game now. Oh my god. Okay, there we go, Porco. Very, very clutch on Esther there. Oh no, Mark, um... Ah, oh, god, oh. that's bad. Mark Yeah, had... he's gonna have to go into... Yeah, he's, he's not gonna be able to get anti... anti no, he died! Oh. So basically what oh, happened... God. Oh my god. Basically what happened there was, um, Mark... What's it called? He missed his spread EX, didn't he? Yeah, he missed his spread EX because the phase died too fast. Probably because of the over damage he got from the EX. So, he had... So he didn't like get the damage from the EX and thus had a very unfortunate third phase. Oh, and now the lava trap's gonna get screwed up. This is a very unfortunate moonshine for Mark. Mark got moonshined. Yeah, that's good, Hazel. Uh, I'm trying to read the chat the best okay, I can. Okay, there we go. Yeah, this time, uh, Mark. Mark's probably he still got to do the anier phase, but this is definitely a better situation to be in. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Yeah. You see Porco yep. coming into the next phase. Mark so. still has a solid lead, and uh, he should be able to close this out. Porco's taking it safe. 
Mark Very got clean. gamer tag. Oh, all right, stop. <laughs> You have, you have to at right, least try nice. to make sense. Very nice and nice. Very solid. Very clean. Hold on, wait. Is is Porco ahead in uh in game time? He might be. Yeah, he, I, he, think I think he, he is. is. Yeah, he is. Yeah. Wait, let like let's check Mark's uh, chef entry. Uh, ten forty four. Ten forty four. Yeah. Let's let's have a look. I think Mark might be ahead by a couple of seconds. I don't know. I don't know, honestly. Yeah, well, he, yeah. I mean, Mark's obviously going to be trying for Salsa Majusu, right? And Porco has a 1036. Oh my god. Wow. It's it seemed weird. It seemed like it because of load times, but Mark Porco is actually leading in this race. So it'll probably change on Chef. Yeah, no, I think uh, I think at this point Mark is obviously going to be uh, as I said before going for Salsa Majutsu. Even if he doesn't hit Salt, he... oh sorry. No, you go, you go. Even if he doesn't hit Salt uh, I've been watching Porco's stream and his chefs have not looked the best, so he might ah. Okay, he, he did a little improv shot there. Porco chefs haven't looked the best, so there's still a chance that Mark wins. Oh, yeah, two, right. two lay of a beginning dash there, so he probably won't hit. Oh, never mind, he did. Oh, wow, he hits it. What? Nice. That is very awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I That first dash was late, so I wasn't expecting that. Uh, I'll, I'll clip that real quick. Yeah, bro, man just, man just, man just did that. Oh, Porco got a cursed shaker, but he's not able to kill it. Best, so he might. Oh shoot, my bad. That's, I have desktop audio. I have audio on on Twitch. <laughs> Holy eleven forty-seven! Wait, hang on. Porco might be able to pull this through. No, he he has to kill us in four seconds, and that's just not possible. I fear. Uh, yep, there it is. Eleven fifty-one. Still a very close race. Very very close race. Wow. Mark is going to have to be a little bit more careful, and his computer is going to have to be a little bit nicer. Otherwise, there is a chance that Porco might come back. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, that's... A, yeah, Porco. 11.15 is a very... 11.51 is a very good time. Wow. <laughs> oh my god, I can't, I still can't believe he actually hit that. That did not seem like Mark got gamer attacking Jitsu. Hall Ray, seriously, stop. I'm actually tired of this. Sorry, I'm probably getting a little bit too angry here. But yeah, I'll send this clip here. Uh, Anyway, I'll be asking uh, the people in the chat if they are ready to rock and roll. Okay, so I didn't see what Pork Porco's chef time was. So that Saltman may or may not have sealed the deal. I'm not let entirely me wash sure. My hands, let me wash my hands for peak gaming. What? Mark's just Mark just said he's gonna go wash his hands for peak gaming. Oh, <laughs> well, that's funny. All right. Wait, hi. Did I just get AFK kicked from Forager? Bro, no. What? Wait, huh? Oh, a demon killed me. Nothing, that's just sad. Oh, fuck's sake. Oh my god, why do I have two pings in my own Discord server? Ah, shit. Wait, um... No, this guy's destroying my fucking bank. Die. There we go, Jesus Christ. Oh wait, hold on, let me update the source, my bad. Gamer tech 27 got exclamation mark. All right, like seriously, this is actually getting annoying. Can you please stop saying stupid stuff all the time? All you do is say dumb things that don't make sense. Stop it. Get some help. Sorry, I'm. I'm. I should probably stop ranting. I'm just getting really annoyed. 
Yeah, that is Maybe true. He did give me first in the timeout. Nah, you just remind me of the stop it, get some help meme. <laughs> Ain't. Hazelnut's just banned him, okay. That's a little bit excessive. Yeah, that's a bit excessive. Yeah, I'm actually, I'm gonna veto that one because I feel like a perma ban is just not very necessary. Okay, remove ban. Okay, he timed him out, alright. Uh... Okay, both runners seem to be ready, so I will be starting to count down. The race will be starting in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go. Uh, yeah, we just gotta wait for the Twitch for stream line. delay. And we're off, off. okay. There we go, yep. Yeah. This is where it begins. I wonder if Mark can, like, properly pull ahead this time, because I think that death on Moonshine really was what gave Porco a chance. Also, the game crash was kind of an was kind of unfortunate. Yeah, that yeah. I think if everything works out for Mark here, he should hopefully have this. But I'm still holding out hope for Porco as well. Clipboard camp for next gen gameplay. <laughs> All right, I should probably like pay more attention because I'm at, at this point I'm doing more chat reading than uh, commentary. I Viewers, I apologize, but, uh, yeah, I'm gonna try harder. Mark, going pretty fast through volleys. Oh, he fell off of that platform, so it's gonna lose a little bit of time. But in the grand scheme of things, it's not that big of a deal. Yeah, that is unfortunate. But at, at the moment, he is very, very much... Okay, uh, Mark, opt of... Mark opted in to kill the machine since he'll, he took hit. That is a very uh, smart decision yeah, very, to make. Yeah, very, very safe, yeah. Gotta respect it. Mm-hmm. Very clean follies, all things considered, though. Yeah, 37 without the clip. Uh, especially without taking a damage, which is very solid. Ah, oh, shoot. I keep running into my desk. Uh... I've, you can actually get a 35 without the clip I got a couple times, but um, it but like it requires you having 3 HP and then damage boosting like in the machine in order to get out of it faster. Oh no, and Mark mm -hmm. missed shop skip. That is a very oh, unfortunate no. mistake. That yeah. is uh just a guaranteed 8 second time loss. Yeah, that really sucks. Okay, Mark taking it slow the, the next time getting it. Definitely the smarter decision to make. People who are good at follies. <laughs> Funny. Porco, uh... I don't even think Porco went for shop skip. But, uh... Yeah. Back... Back to the yeah, hardest level in the game, uh, Mausoleum. Uh... Yeah, many, many a run have been lost to this. Yeah. <laughs> and by many a run, I mean like two. But, uh... I genuinely think that if you get bad Polly's RNG, it's worth restarting for. I'm talking about Mausoleum now. Oh yeah, Mo yeah Mausoleum, yeah. I meant that. Yeah, that's what I meant. That's what I, meant. It, I sarcastically bro, said the hardest level. Bro, it's, bro, it's nearly midnight for me, alright? <laughs> eh, that's fair, that's fair. Thanks for even, like... Thanks for even, like, doing this in the first place, because, uh... It, it would have been very unfortunate if I had to commentate this thing by myself. Yeah, no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't leave you like that. Yeah, I'm just trying my best over here. Sorry, I'll uh, <laughs> I'll click off of this so that way you can see the screen share better. <laughs> Imagine someone does the cuphead spear over the first five DLC, Abrams and dies seven times on mausoleum. Okay, both players gain uh, mausoleum with zero issues. Mark, uh, game is not crashing, thankfully. Yep. Oh, okay, I, I thought the game just froze and I just cursed him, but no. All good in the neighborhood. Ain't no way a functioning computer. Alright, we see Mark heading into uh, Glumstone as we see Porco heading into the Charles tutorial. Yeah, Porco was a little bit ahead of the DLC oh. entry, but that's about to change right now. A little bit of stream buffering on Mark's end. Oh. Very, very clean parry there. That was, like, really well-timed. 
unfortunately taking damage there, but setting up a nice lava trap. That's one of the main things I think. Oh, he got avoided the X there. That was really unfortunate. Yeah. Taking a bit too much damage there. And since he's not using uh, Charge Bread, he can just opt to dash into Glumstone there and save a bunch of time. <laughs> a bunch of time, nah. It, it's like frames if it even saves any. But like, you know, you gotta take the frames. If if Mark yeah. didn't save those frames, he would not have a 10 3x. Mm hmm. I I think I think I was actually the one who like was like, wouldn't this be faster? And Mark was like, oh yeah, it would. No, I'm I'm Jason actually did like a little bit before, and I guess Mark just hadn't known about it yet. But I remember Jason doing that in one of his older runs. I'm uh I I watched a I just watch a lot of stuff. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, no, I was seeing, like, Mark. I think it was, uh, Mark was watching me, like, practice Glumstone. And he noticed that I was, like, just dashing him rather than doing, like, the, the roll into the dash. And he was like, would that be faster? And he tested it, and it was faster by a few frames. Yeah. Getting the double hit EX there, uh, very nice. Oh, clean knockout there from Porco. Yeah, Mark looking to uh, get a better Mormon this time, which he's definitely capable of doing. I know, because mm -hmm. I watched this guy. Uh, yeah, 57 Glumstone from Porco. Uh, solid, considering That's... the circumstances. Yeah, very, very clean. Oh, missing Spodiac. Very clean. Even with, uh, even with more misfortune, that was a very quick fight. Yeah, 47. Yeah, 47 is great. Wow. Yeah, for cards and side switching, uh, that's definitely a pretty good time for a race. You got you gotta get the you gotta get the players to bet in the down that RNG really screws you over in this game. Oh yeah, no, it does. Unless you're Quincy, you just can't get a good run every single time. Mm-hmm. Porco opting for the damage boost as per usual. Double EX. But yeah, Quincy got like two straight level one X's with charge spread, like he's just him or something. Wow. Bro thinks he's the main character. Anyway. Oh, uh, Porco's skipping fridge there. That was very nice. Very quick. Yeah, it's very uh those ice cubes can screw you over sometimes. Like sometimes you can like barely like hit their hitboxes and take a hit. So not yeah. even having to deal with that at all is definitely a major plus. Mm-hmm. Mark with another good second phase. I don't know how he oh. keeps the plane like so steady every time, but he just does and it works. Ah, uh, unfortunately, missing, missing the lava trap again. Trap again yeah. That has not, he has not been very kind to him today. That was the same cycle as his first round. Oh, really? That was exact. Yeah, that was the exact same. That's funny. Yeah, uh... Not really commenting Ooh, on Porco's very barely, much, but he got a... Uh, on the... Porco got 45 on Mortimer, which is definitely very nice. That's very, very quick. That was a... 51 Howling Aces. Very, very solid Howling Aces. Yeah, for very, the circumstances. Very near, very near two cycle, though, I will say. Yeah, that was definitely a very close call, but he still got it, so it's all really matters. How much does uh, getting the extra cycle cost? It, in terms uh, of it, 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 I'm not sure how much it costs exactly, but it's like probably like if you got like a perfect fight, like up until then, then miss the cycle, it's probably like two or three seconds. Oh, wow. But I haven't gotten a perfect fight. But missed a cycle before, so I couldn't tell you for certain. Yeah, yeah. But that that's just my hypothesis. Uh, unfortunately, Ooh, Porco missed a charge shot. So, missing it. So it might be pretty difficult to get a one cycle off of this, but he's going to try his best. Yep. I'm imagining that he can do it, though. Yeah, this should be good. He got, like, quite a few EXs. Yep. Yeah. Barely again. Wow. Yeah, barely. Howling has not been very kind to these runners. They're making it work, though. Yep. It's really impressive. Yeah, the amount of, like, improv... Like, the amount of improvising that a fight, like, howling, like, you have to, like, remember is definitely, like, a very difficult thing to do. Mark going 1 HP into the final phase. As someone I'm who has imagining a... He's, I'm imagining he's going to be yeah. playing it safe. As someone who has a top 5 time in this category, I can verify that that is... It's, like, all that improvising and stuff is kind of difficult sometimes. But, yeah. Uh, there Mark, we go, very clean. Mark gang through Esther pretty cleanly there. Uh, uh, 
Let's see how Porco fares. This is the only uh, fight in which they have the same loadout. Yeah, so... this, is, this is the only time where there's no advantages or disadvantages for either route, so they kind of make the most of it. Yeah. I'm imagining... Uh, I'm imagining... Uh, I mean, Porco has been getting quicker times. But simply because of the fact that they've had to go through the Chalice tutorial and the second shop, they have overall ended up slower. Yeah, it's kind of like how that goes. You uh, lose a lot of time, like, just doing the extra stuff and charge, bro. But you can save times on some of the earlier fights of the game. Yeah. Like, the only one that's, like, straight up slower with charge spread is, uh, Glumstone. But, like, that's also parryless, parry so it's hit the Salt Baker as well, for because of Salt and Juicy. Uh... Okay, uh, I'm, I wasn't paying attention to Mark's screen. He got an ear skip. That is definitely, that is very oh, helpful. Nice. So that way he does not have to go through what we went through last time. That was a very scary last phase, but that he made was, it oh it. my god. So you got banned on Mark's channel, it's over. No more nails, no more gamer tag, it's over. I, I tires, nice, okay, but yeah. Please, please. You know, uh, I think, I think, I think what's funny is that in casual play, the last phase of uh, Moonshine Mob is like really easy, but in speedruns it's actually really scary. Yeah, like, if you don't, if you miss your lobbers, then JK my little Hore, stop! <laughs> oh my god, whatever. I'm I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna look at the chat. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna uh, watch uh, Mark close this run out. Unless he unless he fails Sultima. But I can't imagine that with one. I mean, HP, yeah, he'd, he'd have to have it. one HP and then fail Saltima after going for it, which would be a very stupid move. Uh, all Spire and yeah. Cup at speedrunners, if you're good enough to even hit Saltima, don't go for it when you're at one HP, especially not in a race. It's most. It's mm. usually not worth it, and you can't know for certain like yeah. if you're actually gonna hit or not. Yeah. But I, I think Mark is smart enough to know that he literally just has to do a chef to finish this race. Yep. And it seems like that's what he's doing, as this is a very solid phase one. Might be a little bit over damage, but uh, we'll worry about that when that happens. Um, Porco finishing up uh, Moonshine Mob there, very clean. Okay. Mark gained the sh Curse Shaker there, something that, was never, there. Something yeah. that was never able to do. And, uh... If you know, you know. And he might hit this. He does. Two oh runs in a row. God. It's crazy. Two in a row. That is crazy. Alright, let's clip what this. What a one. way to close out the winner's round two. Oh, any golden chef with that? Holy crap, bro. Holy fuck. Dang, dude. What, that... what a way to close out <laughs> round two. This man is good. Bro. Let's watch Porco finish up then. Unless Porco decides to not go through with chef. What a what just consistency. Good lord. <laughs> yeah. Okay, everyone. Uh, go, everyone. Let's cheer on. Uh, let's cheer on Porco. Yeah, hopefully Porco doesn't die. That'd be a very unfortunate way to end this race. And yeah, that's, yeah. I'm pretty sure, I mean, like, he's, like, the only person, like, so far he's played that's been capable of it, but that's the first sub-11 of the tournament. Yeah, Hope that's crazy. Hopefully plenty, plenty more of those from Mark and I will be seeing throughout this tournament, because it's, it's just cool to see good times, okay? <laughs> yeah. Ah, unfortunately Porco didn't kill that shaker. Yeah, unfortunate. Okay. Oh, boy, did he X. Yeah, definitely very unfortunate. Alright, uh, this has been clipped and it has been sent in the chat. Uh, Mark, once Pork finishes, you are allowed to do a post-game interview we want. Just give some insight as to just how the match went. Very nice. And Porco, you are invited to do the same thing. <laughs> Hacker, thanks. No problem. <laughs> All right, and Mark wins the the race. He to uh, Porco. Very very clean sweep. And the first match, well, the second match of 
both matches of winners bracket round two have been 2 0 sweeps. Yeah, double salty boy. Uh, anyway, I will be inviting, uh, the Saltiman hack. Oh my god, Richard. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I will be inviting Porco onto a. Oh my god, stop, stop pressing control instead of shift. Jeez. Anyway, uh, I will be inviting Porco onto this interview. Alright. Hello. Hello, hello. Gene fucking two Saltimers. <laughs> I mean, I was pretty confident this one was going to work, but I did not know that. I did not figure that the last one would have worked. Like, the first round one would have worked. Like, All I was. Right. <laughs> like, I screwed I think, up the lot I of think time. the. Uh, I think, yeah, I, yeah, the first one. The first one definitely. I <laughs> did. <laughs> Bro, why does every single mic sound robotic? Uh, anyway, uh, congrats, Mark, on, uh, s completing the 2-0 sweep, Porco. Uh, sorry that you lost, but this is not the end of the- This is not your the end of your run. You will be heading it down right. to the loser's bracket. Yeah. And in my defense, I did my part, but Mark's just not human. <laughs> and that's it. Dude, I did my part. Legit. I got two sub-12s. That's it. Alright, yeah, fair enough. Uh... Anyways, oh, and I, want, I want to mention that um, the Chef Gold is a new community best segment, and my song best. Oh my god! Nice, bro. <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> what the fuck? Dang, your song best is a ten twenty four, bro. I hate this guy. Uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, so uh, Porco, uh, you'll be going up against mine in losers bracket round one, and Mark, you'll be going up against, up against the winner of Yuka versus Haka. Mm hmm. I see. I I'm actually really curious who's gonna win that one because yeah. Yuga has not played in a while, and I know Haka is a very solid player. Yeah, yeah, Haka is really good, but not solid at all. Like he's too inconsistent, I'd say. Yeah, uh, that but match is be, that match is gonna be interesting. <laughs> Those matches are gonna be interesting. Unfortunately, Porco's yeah. match is gonna be a little bit of a snooze fest, but uh, a snooze what? fest in Porco's favor. So, oh, yeah, you're probably gonna win right. that match. <laughs> Mine is uh, an interesting player. <laughs> yeah, but thanks everyone. God, Rose is live. Uh, sorry, sorry, Haka. Sorry, mine too. Although mine is not online, so he doesn't care. Uh. All right. Um. Anyway, is there anything you'd like to ask us or something? All right. Uh. <laughs> So, Mark, after uh, sweeping in your first match, uh, how do you feel about your chances throughout the rest of the tournament? Um, I'm not going to lie. This, these two matches have actually made me feel pretty nervous about the upcoming matches. Like, I didn't do as well as I thought I could have. I mean, you got a sub-11. That's pretty impressive. Yeah. yeah, but you can get a sub-11, too. That's the problem. Can I, though? Like, realistically, like, at this stage that I'm at, I it, don't know if I can. Yeah, you can. I mean, even I barely sub-11 with I that Jeff busy. Gold, too. In my like, practice runs, I think I've only gotten, like, two sub-12s, and I've done a decent amount of practice runs. Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, well, uh, then I, I've, all I can do is hope. I've reset some of them, but still. Uh, oh, yeah. I think this... Is this the first sub-11 of, like, a bad folly? Bad one-minute one, one minute plus follies? That's really wait, wait. stupid. That, that's a bad <laughs> folly time? I'm, you're not gonna. All right, please. This is not even funny anymore. Uh, <laughs> and, yeah. Again, uh, y'all. Sorry, but I've been ranting so much. I've kind of just been getting like. I've just been getting annoyed, honestly. Why not spaghetti? Oh my god. And oh GG's my god, Mark. Okay. What? GG's. Anyway, Porco. GGs. I may as well. I may as well ask the same question to you. Uh, how do you feel about? How do you feel about uh, your chances for the rest of the tournament? I mean, I from the beginning I knew I was I wasn't one of the favorites, and winning the first for the first match was already a surprise for me. So, yeah, I don't know. I'll do my best and try to get as far as possible. All right. 
They will love with just said, just the best chef on a run ever. I don't feel good about my chances. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you so much. Alright, sorry about that. Gamer Tech always only stop, stop, stop. I'm just texting, bro. It's because your messages don't make sense. <laughs> they just don't make sense. <laughs> Is this guy still going on about random crap? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> oh my lord. Like, you see, like, like, Temi, Mark, Quincy are three great examples. Like, those, like, those people, like, 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 text, like, a bunch of stuff. Like, those, like, Actually, like, if you, like, think, like, if you, like, think, like, deep down, like, about what they're saying, they actually make sense. Those are three <laughs> great examples. I mean, Temi, maybe but not, but the other two, yeah. too deep down. Okay. Okay. <laughs> anyway, uh, since, since Mark is, uh, the one who kind of, like, owns the channel, uh, he gets the guy that raid, even though I'm the one that's streaming. So, yeah. That's, um, that's his choice. streaming? No, I'm about to raid a Brazilian streamer, so that's it. Oh, okay. Um, then should we really raid the same person? I feel, I feel like we could do that. Uh, yeah. It's like gamers. I, I, I see other people's messages. It's just those aren't worthy of commenting about. It's only yours, and for all the wrong reasons. <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway, I think you should uh, start uh, ignoring chat. Anyways, um, who, should, who are you raiding, Porco? Uh. I mean, I'll send your your his like his name. Okay. I'll send to gamer actually. I I can't I can't send messages on Mark's behalf. Yeah, because um, well, he has his own account, and those I can only access my stream manager. Oh, I see. All right, Mark. Here's so, the, here's the person. Yeah. This is the streamer. Okay. All right, yeah, I'll I'll probably ignore chat next time. I want to actually see chat, but uh, that was not the most fun experience, so I will not be doing that anymore. <laughs> okay, I, and I don't know why on stream elements keeps telling me that keeps telling me to scroll off. <laughs> mm, weird. Anyways. Yo, Mark, before I before I go, I need to say something. Okay. Filho da puta. That's what it. That I have no clue what that means. Son of a bitch. Okay. Ah, okay. Yeah, makes sense. Reasonable reaction. <laughs> anyway, uh, so raid My chat was asking. On the yeah. count of three, we should raid. Do you do the count oh, of three? All right. Oh, I'm counting? Yeah, you're counting. Three, two, one. Bye-bye. <laughs>